we're in Stafford, Virginia at uh, Mount Ararat Church. Uh, this is a facility that has had a history of lightning and surge issues. And I think the last structural hit was when they decided they needed to do something. Around June 2013, the building got hit and it got hit in a big way. It blew off a uh, chimney. We lost all kinds of HVAC, uh, an elevator, uh, a lot, all the computers, telephone, um, and then a lot of life safety stuff got taken out as well. We lost about $100,000 worth of equipment. The original church had steeple protection only. The new addition to the church had some lightning protection, but in sporadic locations. None of these were interconnected. A lot of the problem here was a difference of potential between different grounding systems, which we interconnected by means of the lightning protection system, which is comprehensive of the whole facility. Everything's interconnected, everything's continuous, everything is common. What's important at roof level, especially on a flat roof, is interconnection of metal bodies to the lightning protection system. You don't want what's known as a side flash occurring between the grounded lightning protection system and an ungrounded metal body. So consequently, metal bodies, air conditioning units, exhaust fans, vent pipes, these type of things, railings, we interconnect those to the lightning protection system. With all the bonding and everything interconnected at roof level, we ran down conductors around the building in copper uh, to grounding electrodes, where we then interconnected to different grounded bodies of the structure, you know, foam, water, electric to get everything at the same potential. At Mount Ararat, it's just not practical to do a grounding loop or grid around a building. You've got parking lot, you've got pavement, you even have a cemetery at one end of the building. What we did met NFPA 780 standards and UL 96A standards, which is ground rods driven at 100 foot intervals, average spacing around the perimeter. We're lucky here because we have good clay with the lightning protection system properly installed. Ground resistance results trend towards less than two ohms. We're very big on aesthetics. So what we tend to do is, is try to find materials that'll match the existing conditions. For example, here at Mount Ararat, we've got brown dark shingle roofs. Copper blends in beautifully with that as it oxidizes. When you run a down conductor down a building, you, one way you could do it is you just run the down conductor around a downspout or around a gutter. It doesn't really look that great. So what we'll do is we'll go through an overhang or through a gutter with a solid watertight fitting and that can eliminate that looping of the conductor around so it's a lot less visible and a lot more subtle. We were very pleasantly surprised at the cost to install the system. It was far less than what we paid to repair the building in just one lightning event. Now that we've had the system installed, I do feel a lot safer about the building. Went through a storm the other day and nothing. It was great. I loved it. At the end of the storm, I fell asleep. So <laughs> normally I get called in quite a bit.